Well, howdy, folks. It's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. And as you can see, I'm getting fluids back into this Honda again and getting the transmission fluid back into it and <clears throat> all that other good stuff, getting ready to get it back on the road. So I'm pretty excited about that. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and take a minute here, and I'm going to remove the carburetors off of this Mercury 200. So if you've been keeping up with the videos, uh, we're doing a fuel system service to it, replacing fuel lines, the fuel bulb, cleaning the carburetors. We're going to try to replace the air box. The air box has cracks in it. Uh, you really can't find too many parts or air boxes used or anything like that for this engine. So actually what we're going to try to do is we are going to um, try to 3D print a new air box. And I'm pretty excited about that. So um, I may even YouTube uh, the 3D printing of it. I found out that my local library has 3D printers available. And so I'm hoping that basically we just got to get the materials and then we, we can use the 3D printer at the library. So I'm excited about that. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and get the carburetors off now. And so if you're following these videos, trying to work on your own uh, outboard here, then you've gotten up to this point where you've gotten the covers off, you've accessed the engine, you've gotten the covers off, you, uh, you've got the fuel line disconnected, You've got your air box off. You're down to your carburetors. Maybe you're wondering, like, do we need to do anything to sync the carburetors, keep the carburetors in sync, or anything like that? So long as you're not removing one or whatever, there's nothing you need to do. Keep them together. Keep them together like this. Dip them and soak them together and put them back on together, and you should be good to go. So ultimately, what you need to do to remove the carburetors is just get in here, you're going to have four bolts, two on top, two on the bottom. One of them you're going to look at and you're going to be like, how in the world do I get to that bolt? There's no special way about it or to that nut. I keep saying bolt, nut. There's no special way about it. It looks like you can't get in there. You just have to be tedious and patient with it. Get an open end wrench, get in there, and uh, just slowly get that off. So I always start with these ones. The bottom ones first and I get them off and then I go after my top ones and then go ahead and leave leave them connected per their fuel lines I'll uh, replace this fuel line once I get them off but go ahead and take note of your other fuel lines and you're gonna want to get the fuel lines to the engine and the filter you want you're gonna want to get all that disconnected so you got your two fuel lines here to get disconnected and then you're gonna go over here and we've got fuel line here to disconnect and that looks like to be about it so the fuel line here to disconnect and two fuel lines on the other side to disconnect then the carburetor should just pull off as one since it's going to take more than one hand to do that i'm going to go ahead and do that now and put them on the bench all right so there you go folks there they are now sitting there um I have them laid out exactly how they came off of the engine, top to bottom. So now I'm just going to be removing the rubber lines off of it, leaving them connected, dipping them all together as one. I'll probably let them sit over the weekend and then put it back together this next week and see if we can't get this boat running. So the boat runs, it actually runs really well. Uh, I you know, witnessed it running and stuff, saw some video of it running and all that other good stuff, sounded great and whatnot. It's just, it doesn't want to stay running unless you constantly prime the bulb on it. So that's what we're doing is cleaning the carburetors. Everything looks good and clean. Everything looks nice. So I'm pretty excited about this. All righty guys. Well, I really appreciate everybody coming out and watching my videos and uh, checking things out. Remember, if you have any questions for any projects that you're doing, Shoot them to us in the comments, either myself or somebody else uh, that's part of the community. will definitely get back to you and uh, all that other good stuff. So so I'm going to go ahead and get back to, actually, now that I got this carburetors off, I'm going to get them soaked. And I'm going to get back on that blue Honda and see if I can't get that finished out and out of here this weekend also. So, so alrighty, folks. Well, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.